If you want to learn with me, you don't actually need the hardware. All you need is a computer and since you are watching this video you will have one or at least a phone. I think this will work with a smartphone as well. Initiating. It is Saturday and I'm so freaking excited for this new chapter in my life. Had a good training session. If you're interested in tricking and training, check out this vlog. And well now, have a look what I found. Check this out. Old electronic parts and this breadboard. This is easily 10 years old. My dad tried to teach me years and years ago, but back then I was, you know, a little retard. I haven't made this decision that everything is possible. But well, after all, it was a good thing. As I said in my last vlog, my goal is to build my own camera slider and after that my own CNC milling machine. But first of all, I need to drill the basics. I need a good foundation. So let's start and well, again, I'm literally starting from the bottom from zero. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I will change that. So let's get started with a breadboard tutorial. And again, I will make this like in a tutorial fashion. I will teach all my findings to you. So let's start with the basics. That is a breadboard. It's really not that complicated. I already watched a lot of videos about tons of parts and you know breadboard stuff so let's get right to it that's the thing right there and well I could actually teach you stuff in real life but there is a way better solution for that but first you know let's just take a look so as you can see this is plastic with a bunch of numbers and holes where you can stick parts in for example a resistor just like that. It's for easy and fast circuit building. Yeah, now let's get to the best part. If you want to learn with me, you don't actually need the hardware. All you need is a computer and since you are watching this video, you will have one or at least a phone. I think this will work with a smartphone as well. And well, let me just tell you this. It is an amazing age we live in. You don't need a breadboard, you don't need the hardware. Just get yourself a simulation. And this one, well, it's just called Circuit by TinkerCAD.com. So here we have a breadboard. There we have a positive side, there we have a negative side, and they are connected. This simulation is just perfect because it is so obvious when you hover over it, then you just well, you see the connections. Negative side is connected as well. Positive side and negative side. So there are two sides which you can plug in batteries or something like that. You can actually do whatever you want. This is just, you know, a help, you know, a helpful indicator plus and minus, but you could also reverse this like it wouldn't make sense. But these are just holes where you can stick in stuff and it's all connected. And then we have these middle holes right there and they are connected in this fashion right there other side as well they are numbered and yeah it's basically as easy as that so in theory this translates exactly to this one here we have the positive side and the negative side they are all connected and then there we have a lot of you know horizontal connections going same letters same numbers from a to j only 30 lines though from a to j and on this one there are actually 63 lines if i'm correct so the outer ones are connected like this and the inner ones are connected like this. It is actually extremely simple, but you just need to wrap your head around all of it. Like you need to start somewhere with the basics. And to top it all off, let's build something. Let's power an LED. Again, all you need is this simulation. This is so amazing. This is like, I freaking love it. There we have all the parts to use. There are resistors, LEDs, like buttons, everything. This is crazy and I will get to all of these parts because, well, I need to understand all of them. So we can just, you know, drag an LED right here. Well, you would actually, you know, insert them into the breadboard, but for demonstrational purposes, well, it's just, there's nine volt battery. I might have one of those, Let I don't know. And well, now that all that's left is you just need to connect them and it's so easy like if you hover it will say you which one is negative which one is positive it's negative and then you can just start simulation and the led is dead it will actually tell you everything current is too high like it will tell you the current it's crazy and what i learned from this simulation leds have a flat side it will be hard to see but let's give it a try this side right here that's the flat side this one is round and that's the flat side this one is a flat side and the flat side is the negative side because you know a minus is kind of flat so that's one way to remember it oh my god this is so exciting 
There we go. It's a red LED. There's so much stuff. And believe it or not, I just found a nine volt battery. And good thing that we have the simulation because, well, it just told us that this LED will simply blow up. With the R key you can rotate. Let me grab another LED. Let's stick it in there. Let me grab this nine volt battery. Okay, this one is actually the positive one. So let's rotate this battery as well. Connect to our board. Now we just need to connect the positive side and the negative side to make it blow up again. And there we go. So let's get a resistor to reduce the voltage. That's what I learned. One kilo ohm will definitely do. And this one is gold, red, black and brown. Oh my God. Wait, is that? Oh my God, this is... Is this, this might be the same, I'm not sure about it. Let's freaking hope for the best. I just measured them and this one is around 300 ohms. At least I hope so. So let's get the simulation going. Resistance will be 300. Let's switch it to ohms right there. Well, now it changed, obviously. Gold, brown, black, orange. Gold, brown, white, orange. Well, hmm. Anyways, it's close enough, so let's get rid of this cable right there let's connect the positive side with the res well with the resistor and now let's go to this led let's start it up and current is actually a bit too much this is so amazing but well for the hell of it let's try it out let's risk it so let me just stick it in there there i have a wire wire is in there so here we have the negative side and the positive side. Oh my god, it's doing something. It's working. Woo! <laughs> Yo, it is actually working. This is amazing. This was my first experiment. Damn, this gets me hella excited. So, and to recap it, outer lines are connected like that. Inner lines are connected like that. As you can see here, this is sick. If you combine the letters with numbers, it will and generate coordinates and well you call these rails that's what i learned it's a positive rail right there and the negative rail and what i also learned is that there is always a gap in between a breadboard so these middle columns they are never connected a b c d e is connected and f g h i j is connected but that's it. So that concludes my first experiment, my first tutorial. Electronic basics with Chris. Yo, this is so sick. Yeah, now let's hope that my Arduino starter kit will arrive soon for further experiments. But yeah, that's enough progress for today. Smash the like button the way I did not smash this LED, thankfully. Bang the bell like crap. Check the recent news on chrisfire.com. And yeah, that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow.